Are you still planning to score the 1600 plus in the EMSAT exam? Let me share with this question. It says that find f prime of x when f of x is equal to integral from 1 to x squared for radical 1 plus t cubed dt. Let me show you how to solve this question. Now, to find f prime given f of x equal to the integral from 1 to x squared to radical 1 plus t cubed dt, we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus. Now, according to this theorem, if f of x is equal to integral from a to g of x of h of t dt, where a is a constant and h of t is a continuous function, then you can write it as f prime of x is equal to h of g of x times g prime of x. Now, to start with, we have f of x is equal integral from 1 to x squared to radical 1 plus t cubed dt. Let's set g of x as x squared and h of t as radical 1 plus t cubed. Then, f of x could be written in the form of integral from 1 to g of x of h of t dt. Now, applying the fundamental theorem of calculus, we have now f prime of x would be equal to h of g of x times g prime of x. So then we can write it equal radical 1 plus x squared cubed by replacing x squared instead of t times the derivative of x squared, which is g prime of x. What's the derivative of x squared? It's equal to 2x. And now simplify, you get radical 1 plus x to the power 6 times 2x, which is equal to 2x times radical 1 plus x to the power of 6. Does it make sense for you? That's good. Let's go for another question. Now, what is the domain of the function f of x equal to 4 minus radical x squared minus 9? Now, to find the domain of this function, we need to consider the restrictions of the square root function. The expression inside the square root x squared minus 9 here must be non-negative because the square root of a negative number is not real. Therefore, we need to ensure that x squared minus 9 greater than or equal to 0. Now, to solve this inequality, we take minus 9 to the other side. It becomes x squared greater than or equal to 9. And this form, you remember from grade 9 and 10, x should be greater than or equal to the positive square root of 9, which is 3, or x should be smaller than or equal to the negative square root of 9, which is minus 3. This means that the function is defined when x is greater than or equal to 3, or when x is less than or equal to negative 3. So the domain of this function is going to be x is smaller than or equal to negative 3, or x is greater than or equal to the positive 3. You like it?